Hi there, Stacy Harmon here, and I made it to Hong Kong, waiting to board the plane to Bali. The longest part of my journey is over, so I'm getting very excited. Uh, and what I wanted to take the time to talk to you about today is how Scannable has really played a role in my journey in the last 24 hours, from the time I arrived at LAX to the time I've been here at Hong Kong. Um, I I received probably, you know, three or four pieces of paper in that period of time. I got something at check-in. I went to Starbucks when I landed here and bought an iced tea. I have a receipt. So these kinds of things are business expenses, and I'm going to want to retain them and keep them. Uh, I also don't want to stuff them into my purse in a variety of different pockets. You know, carry-on luggage, it's not the same system I'm used to using. Um, you could carry a document pocket, which is something that I recommend for centralizing all your paper and then scanning it. But I wanted to talk a little bit about Scannable today and how I am converting this immediately to a digital form that's stored in Evernote and then I'm tossing the paper and I don't have to worry about it. So when I am on Wi-Fi, uh, I'm actually just taking the receipt and I'm going to Scannable, which is an iOS device. You can use the document camera in Evernote if you're on Android. Um, and wow, it was really quick. It auto sensed the paper. Let's see if it corrected it. Yeah, it did a really pretty good job. I can take a clearer picture here like that. Uh, and you can see that's nice and crisp. So I'm just gonna swipe up and delete that one. Um, and then I'm gonna hit the little blue checkbox. I'm going to save this document uh, to Evernote. And you're gonna see here, I'm gonna save it to a notebook I've set up called Raw Scans. I explain this part of my process uh, in a pretty epic blog post that I wrote. Uh, I'll link to it in the comments here if you're interested in kind of how I'm, I'm working this and why my receipts go into a Raw Scans notebook. Um, so you can get a lot more information about that. For now, this just shows you kind of what I did and then I hit done. Now, um, that's gonna sync with Evernote and go right into the raw scans uh, notebook, which my bookkeeper has access to. I noticed that um, actually here, uh, yesterday I scanned something from LAX. You can see right here, she's already gone in and renamed it and put the title and you can see it's a collaborative notebook. So that's amazing. You know, she's in a different time zone and she's able to work on the data uh, while I'm flying to Hong Kong. So pretty cool stuff. Again, my blog post talks a little bit more about that. So check that out for more information. The last thing I wanted to mention about Scannable is when I was actually on the airplane, I was trying to scan a couple of paper pieces that I had. And because there was no Wi-Fi on my flight, so annoying, but anyhow, I, I managed Evernote let me work offline. And when I got here to Hong Kong, I, I sunk everything. Um, but Scannable will not work offline uh, in terms of automatically sending to Evernote, but there is a workaround. So what I did is I actually took the picture and then I saved it. I didn't use the send, so I used the other one. I'll, I'll put the screenshot up here, but I um, saved it and I used the... Um, like the up arrow button on iOS to send it to the Evernote app, which sent it to the local app on my iPhone and saved it. And then when I got here to Hong Kong and got on Wi-Fi, it sunk to the cloud. And then I was able to have that information uh, pulled back into, um, into Evernote. Uh, so that again, my, and that's actually what happened, I guess right here, is it this one? Um, it might be this one that sunk um, and then here's the here's the one that just came in that I just demoed for you so that is scannable it's letting me and I just toss the paper so it's done it's very efficient everything's searchable and I'm able to share it with my bookkeeper uh, and retain it uh, for uh, whenever I need it okay and I'll get it filed in Evernote so till tomorrow when I uh, do my update from Bali and in the meantime if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel please do so and you can get notified of updates for uh, the future vlog series I'm doing here. Uh, and I look forward to uh, communicating with you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.